Welcome back to my Let's Play for Bleach the Third Phantom. I suppose we gotta figure out, you know, what we wanna do here. Oh, we can work towards, um, Soyfon, huh? Well, I guess we'll do that. After all, let's build a relationship for a future recruitment, right? Yep, hello. Yeah, why was she looking for us? It better not be bad. Come for you to wear. It better not be jail, because I definitely don't want to go there. <laughs> Special. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, a training ground? Oh, it's where we fought those hollows? Eh, don't worry about it. After all, as, as your own boss would put it, it's her job to protect the weak until they become strong. So, you know, don't look at yourself as a failure here. Seriously, the Mad Eater is quite cagey. Even captains haven't been able to eliminate him yet. Hmm. Jeez. How do you think, um, everyone's here at Foxy Leaf felt when she defended you? Hmm. How would she save me, the one who was supposed to die for her? Yeah, she said herself, what we're trying to defend here is too big for one person alone. The strong must be a shield for the weak, protecting them and giving them time to grow. Yep, exact quote. Yep, the future. I suppose you couldn't. Okay. Yep, now she's going to become obsessed with becoming the best. So much so, she's going to have to become a captain and lead the punishment force at the same time. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> so I was able to talk with both of you. Thank you. Well, it's turned her into an absolute fanatic, but yeah, um, we cheered her up, I guess. Um, maybe that was a conversation best not having. Okay, I want to get over there. But at the same time, I need to move forward, because I can't be sure I'm going to get a 1 if I go with this one. We're, we're going to go with um here. We're going to go visit everyone's favorite cat girl. Yeah, I know, I constantly call her Foxy Lady, but let's face it. She also turns into a cat. Now, if only she could channel those cat features into herself normally, right? Hmm. Yeah, we're doing fine. What brings you here? Just wondering how you were healing from your injuries. <laughs> as you can see, I'm as good as new. Oh, good, that's a relief. Follow visits like this remind me of Saigon. I guess blood will tell. What do you mean? Kisuke told me about you two. Well, adopted children. Yeah. Obviously, she knows the truth because she spies on everybody. <laughs> Besides, there's no way anyone with half a brain would believe something had children in secret. Yeah, he's not that type of person at all. Uh, that Captain Urahara. Oh, he has, has he? So I wouldn't be surprised if there weren't one or two stories floating around. What, about his prowess in bed? I imagine he'd be pretty quick considering how much the guy, you know, emphasizes speed. I doubt it. Yep. He's a siscon. I was we can pick that up, so I think most are bothered to pursue anything with him. Well, obviously. She leads the punishment force. And that means she spies on everybody. Even you. Yep, I even learn when they go to the bathroom. It's just that creepy. Uh, pretty much. I know, say, how many of Captain Arahara's inventions have failed. And I know all about the clever ways people try to explain away misappropriated funds. That's... scary. I don't think you two have anything to worry about. Just keep on the up and up. Otherwise, I'll have to punish you. <laughs> ah. Scarves, huh? It's fairly sturdy, so you can use it to keep warm or to protect your neck. Use it in good health. So, is this like equipment I can add into my um 
item slots to raise my stats passively. And we're getting an actual stat boost, so that's good for us. Ooh, a plus one to defense. Oh, another one? Oh, we can raise our um, level with her? Okay. But I want to get that item, so let's see. Um, I guess we'll go with this. I know it's not going to waken our um, Zompa toes, but why not? Yep, let's eat. A feast, huh? I don't know, it seems kind of small for a feast if it fits all around one little table. She didn't need protection. Not that much, anyway. Man, Rohara knows everything. Something the matter? Well, we hardly helped at all. <laughs> to be of any help is laudable, you know? I'm not sure I agree about that, because we barely did much of anything. We killed a few hollows that weren't even near her. So we barely defended her. I mean, I guess we took out the Mad Eater, but let's face it. I imagine she could have probably done that by herself, if she was serious. And, you know, used her most powerful ability. Well, as long as she's happy, yeah. Seconds? Yeah, you already stuffed us full of food. Yeah, that's definitely so. Oh, it does, does it? Just become a Soul Reaper. In his earnestness, he made more than his share of mistakes. Hmm. Couldn't, huh? Oh, he's a lot better now. Yeah, it's hard to imagine him being, you know, serious and stubborn. Hmm, great success, and what was that? Seriously, what was his great success? More moved. You reacted in a way that's true to who you are. Yeah, you're right. We didn't got time to second guess ourselves. <laughs> oh great, a pity party? Those are the worst. Yeah, let's try not to screw the pooch. How about that instead? Yeah, let's not try to aim to fail. That would be bad. Ooh, three fireballs. Just this... Well, we could, you know, go with one more talk. And then, you know, pick up hers for an affection raise. Why not? The Captain's Trust. I guess we'll go with that. It's not going to really help us, because he's going to, you know, switch sides in the grand scheme of things. Due to being misled by lies, but that's how it goes. Yeah, why are he looking for me? Here, too, Fujimori, I want to talk to both of you. Talk about what? Um, I don't know if I'd call it fine. If someone goes to the troll of commenting you, I suggest you reply with a little more enthusiasm. But we don't feel like we contributed very much at all, so that's why we're not very, um, grateful. It feels like excessive praise. Especially since, you know, he did most of the work. Ugh. <sighs> That wasn't even my intention, and he still did most of the work. <sighs> Laws are made to be obeyed, but there's no guarantee that all will go well if they are. In that situation, we did feel like meat action was required. Well, she wasn't wrong. It's just too bad we weren't very helpful. What, people's lives? Well, I bet they do. However, I want the members of my squad five to be prepared to break the rules when necessary. That's my hope. I know you won't let me down. Oh, we won't, will we? We'll see about that. Ow. Well, hey, what's up? let's go as far over as we can go. Yeah. Is this to be friends with, um, Soyfon? 
whose name I'm probably horribly butchering. Not as much as I'd butcher hers, though. Yep, we came all right. So how can we be of help? Yes, a huge favor. Hmm. And she arrived. Instantly. What do you want with, um, my boss? Seriously. Yep, her request. Enough of that. It's just about to talk to them about you. Yeah, what about me? I would like you to consider being friends with Soifan. <laughs> Friends? She doesn't have time for friends. A lover, maybe, but not friends. And, you know, we all know who she wants to be in love with. She knows everything. Like, she spies on you. Potentially personally. <laughs> Jeez, what are you apologizing for? It's good to have people to talk things over with. Working for the punishment force isn't easy. You have to keep your feelings in check in this job. That's why you need friends to confide in. Otherwise, you may lose touch with your feelings. But... Yeah, she has friends, alright. But she likes to also annoy them by, you know, playing tag, you're it. Jeez. Well, what else does she do with her time? <laughs> Me neither. Oh, yeah. You're really gonna disappear. Oh, she's not that far gone, I'm sure. Got that right. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. Probably. And yeah, hang out in the background. <laughs> oh, great. And she's gone. I suppose so. <laughs> be my friends or I'll throw you in jail until you agree to be my friends. Yep, that's how that works. But at least we're out of free time. Oh no. Things are honestly serious with the commanders there. With his amazing beard. And moustache. Hmm. Looks like th this is everyone that can join us at the moment. Let's get in the meeting. If you could please explain to everyone. Yes sir. Judging by the information we gained from our encounter with the hollow ambush unit the other day. We feel it's like that we will attack the Soul Reaper Society again. Another attack? So soon? I wonder what's behind the strange behavior of these Hollows lately. Hmm, let me ask you one more time. You say you definitely heard the Hollow mention Arturo and Arankar. Exactly, sir. Plain as day. Arturo? Oh, Rankar, what's that? Arturo is the name of an enemy who once invaded the Soul Society long ago. Invaded? So this Arturo is a hollow? Not exactly. Arturo is an Arankar. Arankar is a hollow that has gained the powers of a Soul Reaper. Arankars are intelligent and have spiritual power beyond even the level of captains. Yeah. He's beyond captain level. I see. So this Arturo follows the Hollows under his command, is that it? When Arturo attacked long ago, the 13 Court Guard Squad set him on the verge of death, but he got away. They were never able to finish him off, sir? I'm afraid not. By the time Arturo escaped, half the 13 Court Guard Squads have been wiped out. He wiped out at least six or seven squads? <laughs> Damn. He's probably basically by himself when he did that, too. Wasn't even at full power. Well, shit. 
You guys would be royally screwed. Well, now. Things just got real, huh? Kisuke? Well, probably have to spill the beans about Lei Konaka at some point, then. What do you make of it all? We'll defeat any and all enemies that come our way. That's all there is to it. Even if I must give my life, I will still win. <laughs> yeah, this isn't an enemy that can be defeated with attitude alone. We need a plan. Or maybe we don't tell them. Oh, well. I'm sure that higher ups will figure out what to do. Hmm. Preoccupied, huh? What are you thinking about? What I'm having for dinner. I really don't believe you. You got a plan. A crazy plan. Hmm. Well, let's just go back. Yeah, we'll continue without saving. Because I would like to be able to get into some practice battles, maybe. So we'll jump in the next chapter. Ah, the birds are chirping. It's a great day to launch an invasion, right? Oh, yes, it's quite beautiful. Even more beautiful when the blood stays the ground. Well, you better wake up, because quite frankly, it's not time to sleep. Lord Saigon? Now what? If anything ever happens to me, I want you to take care of Konaka. Nani? Um, was that some kind of joke or something? Knocked all the sleep out of my head with that one. Oh yeah, it was just a joke. Um, forget it. Oh, he was dead serious, but... Honestly, I don't know if I'd trust those two to take care of your sister either. Yeah, the only ones. Oh, don't be so confident about that. <sighs> well, now. Oh, it's been a while, huh? I guess that is true. But is it trust that's deserved? That is the question. Yeah, we really need to fix that, don't we? We have to do why it's all about putting in the effort, of course. But we don't know what kind of effort to put in. Well, you both heard your Zangpatil's voices, right? We did, but we didn't understand what it meant. It said something like, discard that which you do not need and find that which is necessary. And it told us, put your minds together and look forward, but no idea how we're supposed to do that. Secretly relieved somewhere in your hearts? Relieved? Huh? Maybe you think I'm weak, so somebody else, somebody strong will fight for me. Sure you don't have that kind of overdependence in your heart somewhere? Overdependence, huh? Listen, it's not really the mind, the strength of a soul reaper. And what do you suppose a soul reaper needs to release its full potential? Well, uh... Determination. Fierce, burning determination. The kind that leaves your enemy screaming for you to stop. <laughs> I think that's... Here's what I was waiting to see. Well, I guess we'll just have to show it. <sighs> and the battles that come ahead. Right. Oh god, no! More free time! Oh! God, no! Damn you, game! <sighs> well, that'll do for this episode. Next time we do even more free time! <sighs> Until then, see ya.